Hi, welcome to Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory, and today I'm joined by Grace Kwan, President and CEO of Hydrogen in Motion, Inc. Grace, thank you for being on our show today. Well, thank you for inviting me, Rachel. It's um, Hydrogen is a salient topic, so it's exciting times. So Grace, tell us about Hydrogen in Motion, also referred to as H2M. What makes you different in the industry? Hydrogen Motion, what we've uh, done is we've developed a nanomaterial that stores hydrogen under low pressure. So essentially, we've made a smaller, safer tank. Why it's important is because the cost of distribution and storage of hydrogen actually represents about uh, 50 60 percent of the cost of the pump. So it's a significant expense. And if we can move the numbers, we can move the needle for the entire industry. Now, you are involved in the first application of loop technology in rail transport. Can you tell us more about this technology and how did this partnership begin? I'm on the Canadian Hydrogen Fuel Cell Association board as chair of the Government Affairs Committee. Of course, I know all the companies in the association and loop is one of the the great companies. In terms of rail transport, it's with Southern Railway of BC and UBC Okanagan at the School of Engineering. Ourselves, Hydrogen Motion, we had some funding from BCR, the Clean Energy Program, and as well as NRC IRAP program. We brought in Loop as a fuel cell provider, and they have a very interesting fuel cell, very efficient, and we thought it'd be useful in a rail application. We know we're very pleased to highlight another Canadian company and Canadian technology. Of course, the other fuel cell companies in Canada are equally competent. It's just a matter of who has the availability to make the engine, etc. So we talked about loop and a rail transport. So how else is H2M revolutionizing hydrogen? And why is hydrogen a good solution for energy storage and transport system? We need to move away from the fossil fuel industry. We have to leave the dinosaurs in the ground as it is. And hydrogen is, when you can store it in any density, it's actually an enormous amount of fuel. So it's all about the density of the energy, and that's what we're doing. But hydrogen is clean. When you put it through a fuel cell, what you receive is water, H2O, right? So why is it a good solution for storage and transport? They're looking at battery. We know we have battery electric vehicles and battery electric scooters. And in Asia, they have all sorts of two-stroke type vehicles have converted into battery. But the problem is for long duration or heavy loads, batteries actually take a, a large part of your payload because of their weight. And so with hydrogen, we can really extend the duration or extend the range, which you cannot do with batteries. It's a way to get to zero emission world. And hydrogen is sustainable, it's renewable. Once the price goes down, it'll be used in all number of equipment. We're looking at heavy duty because that's a market that is not well served by the battery. We're also looking at a very small swappable system as well because our tanks are smaller and we use low pressure. We use 50 bar instead of 700 bar. We can do swappable tanks. We're doing a project in India using a three-wheeler tuk-tuk and auto rickshaw. We're extending the range with a fuel cell and our swappable tanks. Why else is hydrogen so important for Canada right now? And why should people be paying attention? Canada has expertise in, in hydrogen. Ballard, in 2019, they celebrated their 40th anniversary, so 40 years in business. So they've really been pushing the industry virtually on their own for many years. Kudos for a great Canadian company. And over the years, with the growth and expansion and contraction and such, they've created a network of fuel cell expertise. We're building a hydrogen storage expertise. There are lots of different hydrogen generation expertise in Canada from using old gas wells with to planetary hydrogen who alkalizes seawater and makes hydrogen from it. It's a very, very innovative. Why is it important to Canada? We have to get to weed off our own dependence of fossil fuel, but we also have a massive advantage of skill set in Canada that nobody else has in the world. And I think we really have an opportunity to leverage that and become even more leaders than we already are. So does Canada have the current infrastructure to produce hydrogen at this scale? And if not, what needs to happen to attract the right investment? In the last federal budget in the fall in 2022, they were talking about the investment tax credit, especially for hydrogen. I think they will be in the next budget. They'll also be talking about directly funding hydrogen projects. Obviously, the government of Canada and the provinces have to get engaged and have to open up a regulatory environment. I'm on the chair of the codes and standards 
working group for hydrogen storage and transport because we need to make sure that we have the regulatory environment that will allow for hydrogen to be used all over Canada in different methods. All the sort of background things that electricity and gasoline have put in place already with 150 year head start, we have to do and we have to get on it quickly because climate change is upon us. You know, you see colder winters, you see hotter summers, we see it's all experienced in water in different rainfall and our agriculture doesn't have the capacity to rebound from that quickly. We're seeing that at the price at the till. We have to all chip in and make this happen because the world is changing around us. Well, thank you, Grace. It was great chatting with you, learning about your projects with Hydrogen in Motion. Thank you so much for being part of our series. Real pleasure. Thank you, Rachel. And of course, if anyone wants to get hold of me, they can reach me at info at hydrogenemotion.com. Good luck with your series. Thank you for taking the time. 